Hey guys. Um, first of all, I'm sorry I've been kind of absent for the last few days. Uh, I've been working on a big project and I just finished it, so yeah, I will get to all of your comments as quickly as possible. So I tried an experiment um, that didn't really work out. We're going to try this again. And that was uh, doing the kind of the twist on the rainbow pour. So I'm going to do this again. And this canvas is already covered in white paint. It's wet. Um, and we're going to go ahead and... This one's going to be a rainbow. Well, we're going to try a rainbow. So I put a little bit of white in there. There's yellow. And red. Bloop. I think in the last time that I did this, I also had just way too much paint in my cup. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more yellow. And then we're going to do a little bit more white. And I think that's good. I'm going to hope that this comes out into a rainbow. So, here we go, we're going to try this. I'm going to go in, I think I wasn't going in enough of a, a circular pattern before. That still wasn't a very good circle, but anyways, that's more of what I was going for the last time. So, definitely closer. On this one, I definitely am going to leave negative space, but I am going to stretch this out a little bit. Um, and for those of you who are newer, maybe, to my channel, these are Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Paints. And they're mixed with Floetrol, which is a paint conditioner, and then a little bit of water. So that's how I get this mixture. Okay, I think that may be all we're going to do with it. I'm going to go just a little bit this way. Okay. Definitely got the rainbow this time. <laughs> Not that I was going for a rainbow last time, really. I wasn't. So. That looks like a tornado. I have a hard time leaving negative space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with that, but I do. So I think that's good. Alright, we'll let this sit here for a little bit. And then we'll come back in and we'll go ahead and do the close-up. Okay, so we're back. This is pretty much how it's going to stay. Uh, we did get, I think, the full rainbow. Uh, not as much green as I would have wanted. There's some green over here. Uh, but we definitely got orange and purple and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and go in for the close-up. Alright, here's this end of it over here. I kind of went off the side, which I like. Yeah. Same thing over here, went off the side. Down here's the, the pretty green. Here you can see the side over here. Yeah. So overall pretty cool. Kind of like a tornado. I like it. So this is just another way that you can do the tree ring pour. So you know, have a little fun with it do whatever kind of designs and whatnot you would like so i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time